I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, WWE re releases another set of talent, you feel me? This is probably the third time this year that WWE, WWE has made these cuts, you feel me? They just cut people like a month ago, you feel me? Now the people that they cut this time is still people from the main roster, you feel me? People that just got there, you feel me? Like, this is bad. I ain't gonna just get bad. Like, I don't know what WWE goal is, you feel me? I feel like in the next three years, like, how is the, not even how is the show gonna look, but like, what are they planning for, you feel me? Are they planning to sell? Because even if they get like, a TV contract from USA for like $10 million for 10 years. Like, I'm sure they don't care about the ratings. And then if the house shows stop doing bad, I'm sure they would just stop doing house shows. You feel me? And then I see all of these wrestlers that's like, oh my God, WWE, that's not the place to be no more. Like, I was little. WWE's always going to have the most money in wrestling. You feel me? So if you're a wrestler, if you want the big, big pay, you're gonna go to WWE, you feel me? You're gonna go there. It's just, are you gonna be able to put up with the other stuff that goes on the side? Let's talk about it. Um, this, besides the fact, besides the main releases, none of these was a surprise to me. Drake Maverick, it wasn't a surprise to me. Like once, I feel like WWE only brought him back because he did that crying video. If he had never did that crying video, I don't think they'd have brought him back. And then I think he regret doing that crying video for getting released. You feel me? The thing with him being Killian Dane didn't work. Um, him as a wrestler didn't work to me. I didn't I didn't believe Drake Maverick as a believable wrestler. I didn't. I feel like him and EC3 is going to make movies together. You feel me? Uh, Tegan Knox. This one is kind of a surprise, but kind of not. Tegan Knox is super injury prone. Super, super injury prone. Um, I don't think we ever got her, her main roster singles match. She never wrestled a one-on-one -on -one match. Hunt Shotzi Blackheart beat to me and Natalya a lot and never got the tag titles. And then when her run in NXT was very short. She came back, uh, made her return, and then got caught up right away. She's She's been through a lot. I'm not going to lie. She's been through a lot. I feel like if she goes on the indies, though, like she won't get injured. Like, every time in WWE, she keep getting hurt. But I feel like if she's on the indie, she's not going to get hurt. Because she rubbed chilling on rest like once every couple of months. So I feel like she's going to be good. Jackson Riker, I really didn't care about. I ain't going to hold you. I thought he should have been fired a long time ago. Hit Row. Now the entire Hit Row is gone. You feel me? Swerve Scott, Ashanti Adonis, and Top Dollar. And they released B-Fab like three weeks ago. This one is kind of crazy, you feel me? I'm not going to lie. I put on my Instagram, go follow at the underscore BBW show, that Hit Row was made for the main roster. I thought they was made for the main roster. And then once they fired B-Fab, it was like, oh, no, nah, they look nasty as a three-man group. Like, it don't even look the same. And then they fired the rest of them, you feel me? I don't know what it's about, you feel me? I don't know what their be goal is. Honestly, I don't know if Nick Khan is going to be around three years from now. I don't know if Vince McMahon is going to be around three years from now. Like, that's what I think That's what I think people need to start thinking about. Because honestly, WWE is just releasing people that they hoarding. You feel me? All this indie talent that they were signing up the last couple of years, they just letting them go. Honestly, if you look at it, they just letting them go. Yeah, there's a few homegrown talent like Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. But other than that... They just letting all this indie time that they picked up for the last five, six years, they just letting it go. Just letting it go. So I want to see where WWE's at in the next three years. You feel me? Is it only people from NXT on the main roster? You feel me? Is it no indie guys? Like, I really want to see where they going. Like, what is the end game for this? Because even though the, the, the Monday Night Raw might get record low ratings, they not going to care about that. They're still going to get a monster deal from USA. And SmackDown is going to get a super monster deal from Fox. So it's like, people got to find out, like, what do they care about? You feel me? But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.